Hey everyone, Gretchen Wagner here. This one today is for both parents and teenagers because I have a client right now who I just met with today. I'm gonna meet with his parents on Wednesday of the week that I'm recording this. And we are trying to figure out together what is the appropriate amount of checking in for the parents to do about whether he's done his homework. This young man is uh, at the end of his freshman year in high school and he does have ADHD and so he has a history of struggling to turn things in on time, a lot of late work, and also a history of perfectionism. It takes him a really long time to do writing assignments, for example, because uh, he wants to get all his thoughts just right and he's a really high level thinker and so the thoughts he's thinking are really complex. So it makes sense that it would take him a long time to try and get words on a page. Anyway, so his parents often feel like they need to check in to see how he's doing, to keep him on track. And uh, that worked okay when he was in the early days of middle school, but now he's just pushing back and resisting. And today I asked him, like, what should I talk to your parents about on Wednesday? What do you think the best uh, response for them to have is when you are um, doing your homework? Like, should they check in? Should they just back off completely and let you accept the consequences of your grades, whether they're high or low? And this is what he said to me. Thought this was actually pretty, pretty insightful. He said, I just don't want my parents to be right. He said, I didn't, or I don't want them to think that I'm doing my homework or this assignment uh, because they told me to do it. Like, I want to know that I'm doing it because. I am choosing to do it. And he said that over half the time they come to check in to say, are you doing this or make sure you finish this? He said, I'm doing it anyway. I'm, I'm already working on it. And when they give me this reminder, it just makes me feel stubborn and not want to do it. And so sometimes I'll actually stop doing my homework because they've checked in. And you know what? I have to say, I totally identify with this story. When I was, I don't know, maybe a sophomore in high school, I was told by my math teacher that I could totally be an A student in math. And my dad, who's a mathematician, was also convinced that I could be a strong student in math as well. But you know what? Just because they were on me constantly to do better than I was doing, I was a B student in that class, I just got really stubborn and said to myself, look, I am just not gonna make an A. I don't care about it, I don't want to, that's their goal, that's not my goal, I'm not gonna do it. And sure enough, I made a B in algebra, and you know, I would have had a 4.0 in high school if it wasn't for this stubbornness, but you know what? I think a 3.9 or a 3.8 or whatever I did end up having was a just fine grade <laughs> to get. So I have to say that I totally identify with this young man. And I do think that there is a stage when teenagers need to learn to just accept the consequences of their actions and maybe just completely let, uh, or, or parents just completely decide to back off for a while and see what your teenager can accomplish when he or she is completely by themselves. Now, I did say to this young man, what happens when you ask your parents for help at like 11 p.m. and you're desperate because the writing assignment is due tomorrow and you didn't keep yourself on track. And we both decided together that if that were to happen, the parents shouldn't help at that point. You're on your own, dude. You wanted to accept the consequences of these actions. We weren't checking in on you beforehand, so we're not gonna help you now. We'll only help you if you ask when there's a reasonable time frame ahead. And I think that probably makes good sense. Now, obviously, this advice is not for every family. I don't know what the specifics are, of your dynamic between parent child in your family, but I did think that this was uh, a theme worth sharing. That sometimes, as families, when we check in with our teenager too much, we are getting in the way of them experiencing their own independence. So it's worth thinking about. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, Gretchen at GretchenWagner.com, and I'll see you all in the next video.